Hi, welcome. Uh, let's talk about mouth breathing. Do you know that newborns don't know that they can breathe through mouth? But by five or six months, most babies learn that they can also breathe through mouth. And as a matter of fact, almost 50% of the babies breathe through mouth by around eight years of age. Some of them are habitual, some of them are hereditary, some of them are with a pathological reason. And let's look what are the possible causes why a baby breathes through mouth. The first thing would be the allergic rhinitis and a, a deviated nasal septum, uh, mouth not uh, occluding properly. You know, when the mouth, the, the lower jaw is placed front, that's called as uh, prognathism. When the, when the lower jaw is placed behind, that's called as retrognathism. And in these circumstances, the mouth does not close properly, resulting in air entry and also causing mouth breathing. Some of the babies have the habit of uh, uh, thumb sucking that can also lead to uh, mouth breathing. Chronic uh, uh, allergies and chronic colds can also lead to mouth breathing. Let's see why uh, nose breathing is important. Nose is just not for the aesthetic sense to make you look good. It's there for a purpose, you know. It warms your air, it moisturizes your air, it traps the particles, it traps the viruses, bacteria, fungi and allergens entering your system and it prevents a lot of infections that way and also the allergens that way. Once all of these beneficial factors are taken away, cold, dry air which is uh, full of bacteria, funguses and viruses enter your system can result in repeated respiratory tract infections, adenotonsillar hypertrophies and uh, uh, and since the baby has also the nasal blockade along with that can lead to various other manifestations what are the uh, the signs and symptoms what you would see when a child is having mouth breathing first to start with your mouth will be very dry it will have bad breath that's called as halitosis and the since your nose is blocked you have a nasal twang while you're talking they can be repeated allergens, they can be repeated respiratory tract infections, can also lead to adenotonsillar uh, hypertrophies and some babies also have repeated uh, colds and can have uh, uh, the uh, sleep disturbances. That's probably the most important thing. When a child has sleep disturbance, it will not have a comfortable sleep at night, resulting in drowsiness throughout the day, crankiness, excessively sleepy at uh, daytime and the scholastic performance deteriorates rapidly. Babies can also have a dark circle around the eye. In some children who have allergic rhinitis, since they keep doing uh, the rubbing movement of the eye, they can have a horizontal crease on the nose. For both the parents and the, for the doctor to recognize the mouth breathing and treat accordingly. Uh, the treatment basically depends upon the type of the reason why your child is breathing through mouth. For instance, if a child is breathing through mouth because of the hereditary factors and uh, uh, the habitual factors, training these kids to breathe through nose will resolve the problem. In those children who have the prognathism or the retrognathism, correcting the occlusion disorders solves the problem. In those kids who have adenotonsillar hypertrophy, treating that solves the problem. In those children who have a, a allergic rhinitis, treatment of allergic rhinitis makes a huge difference in their lives. And those who have deviated nasal septums, nasal polyps or other blockade, uh, that can be a little tricky because sometimes the surgery cannot be done a little early. Sometimes we may have to do the surgery after 15 years or 16 years because the facial structure uh, development happens till that time. So uh, if you have understood what the problems the child is going through, we treat that. It makes a huge difference in child's overall performance. The baby smells better and the scholastic performance just gets better. For tuning by and uh, listening to this important topic.